What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. I learned a very valuable lesson this Thanksgiving. This is the first Thanksgiving that I cooked for the entire family. Turkey, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, chicken and noodles, a pumpkin pie. I took it on as a personal challenge and one thing I underestimated was the amount of time I spent in that kitchen. Felt like I was handcuffed to that fridge with a ball and chain around my ankle. I ain't talking about my girlfriend. And although that's good for a holiday, man, I'm not complaining. But sometimes you want people to think you're a superhero by how quick you're able to just serve up food. You want to be fast, you want it to be snappy, you want to be Superman with them games. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I got a good one for you. In this video, we will be making anabolic skillet tacos. We can literally prepare everything in one skillet and end up with a beautiful, delicious, crunchy anabolic taco. If you've been looking to feed your entire family with a quickness, but the idea of indentured servitude doesn't sit right with you, then look no further than this recipe because I promise it just might change your life. How many people in the audience feel like they packed on a couple pounds over Thanksgiving? I know I definitely put on a little bit of water, but I've been following following the anabolic diet ever since, eating the foods I love, and I've been able to slim back down. I'll do a physique update when the vid starts. You'll see. It ain't that hard, guys. Christmas is coming up. We can either slip and slide into Christmas and just keep this absolute tale of gluttony going, or you can follow the anabolic diet, check out my cookbook, link in the description with all my recipes, and we can arrive into Christmas like we're sliding into home base. It's the only guide you need, man. I'm telling you, link in my description. Don't sleep on it. So if you guys are ready to get an epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! All right, post Thanksgiving accountability check for the YouTube. See how we're looking. Woo! Holding a little bit of water, but uh, you know what I mean? Other than a little bit of blow, and I had eight pieces of antibiotic French toast right before this. I'm a little bloated. Not too bad, man. Like I always say, one cheat meal ain't gonna break your diet the way one good meal ain't gonna make you skinny. But if you follow these recipes, man, and you actually give this a try, it's gonna work out for you. Let's go. I'm telling you guys, this recipe is quick and easy. We only need about four ingredients. First one, we need Mission Yellow Corn Tortillas Extra Thin. Three of these corn tortillas is only 120 calories, baby. You can see them right now, they're a little floppy, but we're gonna change that. We're also gonna need about 56 grams of fat-free cheese. I'm using mozzarella, use cheddar if you want. Macros are the same. Lots of protein in here without the calories, it's gonna get that waistline back on track. I have 168 grams of roasted pulled chicken. I like to buy curly, sauceless, pulled white meat chicken. The macros are great, it's already cooked, makes this way easier, but if you can't find something like this just make some chicken breast you need 168 grams and then finally I have a Mexican style salsa picante I'm using Valentina super cheap zero calories We're gonna use this to give our chicken some flavor so the first thing I'm gonna do is weigh out 30 grams of our salsa picante in a mixing bowl and have it ready just sitting off to the side this is a recipe where we're doing a lot at once you kind of want to have everything easily accessible and although our chicken is fully cooked we still got to heat it up it's a little cold it's been in the fridge so I got a large skillet preheated to medium heat we're gonna hit it with nonstick and toss our chicken in and let it heat up. And once it's heated up for just about 60 to 90 seconds, we're gonna toss it in our mixing bowl with our salsa picante. Now all you do is just shake your bowl back and forth until all your chicken is covered in sauce. We call this tossing. Now the chicken's done, we're back at the skillet. Hit it with nonstick. Sit each of your corn tortillas down in the pan, and we're gonna let these toast for about two minutes. And if any sides start to curl up, feel free to press them down. Now after we've let them toast for a couple minutes, we'll just go in and flip them. And you can see they became crispy on the other side. And at this point, we build. Grab some of our chicken, put it in the middle of each of our tacos. And once your meat's on there, go in with your cheese and add a little bit to each one. Doesn't this look easy, guys? I know if you try this at home, you're gonna be able to pull this one off and everybody's gonna be impressed. Now what we're gonna do, go in with our spatula, fold it over, use a little hand action here, and then press down on her. There we go, lock her in, baby. And once they're flipped, we let them sit and cook on the one side for like 60, 120 seconds. Then we're gonna go in, and don't worry about this melted cheese, but it's, look at it, it comes along with it. And then flip her, boom. And we're gonna let each of these tacos cook an additional minute or two on each side, and then we're gonna be good to go.
and boom, check me out, baby. Anabolic skillet tacos. If you take a look here, listen to that, man. Crispy, crunchy on the outside. We got that melted cheese. We got our hot sauce infused roasted chicken. And already, really quick, man, minimal cleanup. We just gotta wipe out one skillet. If you made it this far into the video, guys, smash that thumbs up button, comment down below what you wanna see me make. And I think it's time, ladies and gentlemen, to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try these things together. You guys ready? Let's go. Let's freaking go. I love finding recipes like this. You can whip up in a pinch, man. Sometimes you gotta cook something quick. That's why I love the French toast, street tacos, things you can just like a few minutes, it's done. You're eating like a king, keeping the day moving, man. Real quick before we get started, I'm gonna do me a little Aminos, a little bit of caffeine, whole lot of gains. Whoop. Mm. Woo. Available at FinalBossFormers.com. Code RGF10 saves you 10% and two scoops will fully flavor a gallon, baby. Get that water in. All right, I'm gonna grab the showpiece that was right in the middle. To me, that was the most attractive one of the bunch. How's that look to you? Look pretty good to me. Three, two, one, let go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. No lie. If you rolled up to a food truck and you ordered a few tacos from them and they gave you these exact ones, you wouldn't have any idea they're supposed to be healthy for you. That's the key. That's the goal, man. We're eating good. Tastes like we just picked it up on the streets, but the nutrition facts are like it was made in a palace. Actually, I imagine palace food's probably pretty bad for you. It's a decadent bunch, them palace dwellers. Can you hear that crunch when I bite it in? I don't feel like I'm ever gonna make regular taco shells again. The ones you buy at the store, you gotta put in the oven, you gotta like heat them up, you bake them. I feel like this is the move. Why would I do tacos any different now, right? That's the thing about these recipes too, man. It's not that this is like super crazy complex master chef skills required. A lot of it is the idea, the thought of getting in the kitchen, like the idea to take the corn tortillas, stuff them with your favorite protein, use fat-free cheese, marinate them in a little sauce, put it together. As much as these videos are, you know, I think amazing recipes, a lot of it, man, it's inspiring you guys. Put a little twist on it, man. Use steak if you want. Make this with 96% lean ground beef. All I really want is for you to get in that kitchen, man. Because when you take control of the foods you're eating, you quit leaving it up to the restaurant down the street to figure out your macros. You eat high protein, you eat lean, you eat anabolic recipes, and uh, you leave your nutrition up to you and only you. Your body just falls into place, man. I'm telling you guys, that's what I try to stress to people, man. When people tell me their stuff ain't working, I say, how often are you cooking? Are you making your own food? You're going out to eat too much. Because it ain't that we gotta eat bad. We don't gotta eat chicken, rice, and broccoli. We don't gotta eat foods we don't like. We can eat foods we love. The number one thing we gotta do, get in that kitchen and make it happen. In this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, for all three tacos, not just one, for all three, the whole thing, which end up with this, 386 calories, only six grams of fat, 48 grams of protein, 35 grams of carbs, three grams of fiber. About 130 calories a taco, 16 grams of protein a taco, two grams of fat a taco. Come on, man. So all I'm trying to say is that we're taking the foods we would have been eating if we weren't dieting, but we're just making the better choices we're had doing some ingredient swappery, some hackery. We're making our diet work for us instead of the other way around. Mm -hmm. Final bite, let's go. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10, that one's too easy for you not to whip it up and not to tag me on Instagram, man. Give this one a shot, cause I'm telling you, man, this one really just might change your life. Did you hear the big news? Some deep sea divers came across a city underwater, Atlantis. There were mermen and merwomen, advanced technology. It was really the scientific discovery of the 21st century. And down there they had a chest. All of their deepest, darkest secrets, their wealth, what made them prosperous as an underwater nation. And when it was opened and shown to the divers what was in there, it was the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, man. Those mermen had been eating anabolic. Apparently it gave them the energy to build an advanced city, create the technology required, the manpower to get the job done. All from this cookbook, man. They knew all those anabolic recipes were in there with the exact ingredients, the measurements, the directions. They knew it and they got it once and it just kept updating for them. They weren't even expecting that. It was a great value already, but the fact that it kept updating their civilization just kept growing. We may be at war with them soon. They don't like what we're doing up top, but they got it figured out down below because they got this book. Link in the description. You get it once, you got it for life. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching, man. Smash thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Comment anything down below helps the algorithm. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I was each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. There's barely anything left on here, bud. Barely anything, but we're gonna take what we can get.